heading now into the top four of North America. We have Nemesis against Hades in the winner bracket final. Left side, we have Blastoise, Crusted, Lintelion, Blissey, and Leafeon banning out Lucario. Right side with a Mimikyu ban and Sylveon, Hooper, Umbreon, Trevenant. And last pick for the God of War. Let's get it! Not to show what to expect from the series. Hades make an appearance on the top four with Celestial, the former TTV member. Lots of former TTV members in this tournament. All across the board. Yes. You're going to try to pretend like... Oh wait, I, I don't want to what to say right now. As they're trying to pressure, I just ate a lot after eating. It's very difficult to talk, I feel like. I don't know what else. We see a razor leaf! There we go, there's a razor leaf, Leafeon. Is it going to be the every lace? I assume so, right? It's finally making its way, maybe. Into a tournament game. And sometimes, like, after I ate a lot, like, it's so difficult to talk and cast. <laughs> what does scaling mean? It means the Pokemon starts out slow, like, weak, and then the longer the game goes, the stronger the Pokemon gets. Or the higher level it gets, the stronger, like... Yeah, it, you know... It's a high scaling Pokemon, late game scaling Pokemon means early game quite weak, and then late game it ramps up and gets better and better. First Atari fight. Let's see how much trainer can do. I assume he's gonna pick up the Aerial Ace. I would surprise to see a Razor Leaf and Razor Blade. Aerial Ace actually quite, quite decent now on the current patch with a combination of a Razor Leaf. I'm happy to see it. I'm not sure how much I can do in tournaments and team fights, but uh, that's what I'm gonna find out now. Yeah, I like Tyranitar. Tyranitar, late game scaling Pokemon. Someone like Cinder Ace. Those are late game scaling Pokemon. But Tyranitar is the best example. By far. Like, there's no better example than Tyranitar. And so we have Sylveon getting caught. And look for the second KO's trainer. Gets a huge gank in. Picks himself up. Then his team, two KO's right here. Is he gonna go forward? Yeah, there's the Aerial Ace. He's gonna dash around. Try to be annoying. It has such low cooldown. I wouldn't say Gardevoir was a late game scanning Pokemon. Gardevoir was always good. From level 5 on to late game, Gardevoir was kind of the same or not? Gardevoir was not a late game scaling Pokemon though. It's always the same level, I feel like. From level 5 to late game. <clears throat> so I wouldn't say it's like a late game scaling Pokemon. Definitely not. So train already level 8 now. Could maybe look for a Unite move up here. The Moonblast, gotta be very annoying though for Leafeon, of course, to be up, be up against. Any melee up against Moonblast will not have a good time. And of course, Leafeon is no exception. Of course, can try to use the Aerial Ace to kind of predict it and dodge around. Yeah, I see when there's a late game scaling build as well, yes. There's the Unite move going in, they're gonna try to go for KO, but Trainer doesn't quite have enough damage and wasn't able to get on those KOs with the Razor Leaf. Now, kind of just using Unite move, not getting anything done with it. That's definitely a bit unfortunate. Nothing you want to see. Yes, we have. Why is this? Can you stop? Okay. Regilecki not being started. Both teams currently ignoring the bot Regi completely, but they have Snipeshot. Razor Leaf's gonna come out, and they're gonna secure it for the South Nemesis, who are making a strong early game showing. God of Honor hitting towards bot path. They're gonna try to secure the Regi Steel. Don't have HP. It's only Krasse. But, I mean, Krasse can seal it, maybe. <laughs> not quite, though. Doesn't really try. But I mean, that's pretty much impossible. Rishleki goes in. And Nemesis up to 149 points. They're even going to keep on going. On to the next goal. They're going to try to steal away some Indies. They really want this Leafeon to snowball this game. And currently, it's looking quite, quite bad for Hades. They're getting completely steamrolled on topside. With this Leafeon. And Crusher trying to defend. But I mean, none of his teammates are anywhere close. So he's just trying to buy time. Maybe for Leafeon to make it, he's still gonna chase, and he's gonna look for another rock to bump onto God of War. And Bora might have to eject button to safety, but there we go. There's Leafeon jumping in. God was trying to predict it, but it just wasn't enough to be able to live. It was a good prediction though by Bora. But in the end, it was not enough as Leafeon picks up a KO, but Crust is also gonna fall. So at least a one for one. I guess it could be worse. What's coming up next? Trainer now with a very. Massive point lead, or experience lead. Already level 11 almost. And uh, Hades are looking for the push. Mino glance onto Blissey. Can they burst on the support? Blissey assistance is up if they want to go for something. As Trainer dies forward, but Blissey is running very far away to safety. Side shot lands. They're going to eject button onto the top of Trevenant, who's going to get taken down 
by the Aerial Ace. And now Enemus is going to look for the push. They also pick up a Dummy KO as Umbreon falls. Blast looking very aggressively forward. It's going to use the Night Move just to zone them away from the goal. As 40 points going for Leafy. A nice wall into Guard War, forcing the eject button. And yeah, they're kind of vulnerable to it. This cross is great in this match because Umbreon can't get out of it. Guard War can't get out of it. Sylveon can't get out of the Rock Tomb. So as soon as they get hit by a Rock Tomb, they kind of have to eject button or use something else defensively to be able to get away from it. So it's pretty rough. It is a pretty rough for the backline to actually play this game properly. So, yeah, it's scary. And which Lake you also picked up now. They're going to try to increase their lead. I mean, I assume they can't push for this right up against Gardevoir Unite. You don't want to siege up onto a goal. Quite scary to get caught by that massive AoE Psych Circle of Gardevoir. So you got to be very, very careful. And it's going to pick up another Reggie on bot at the same time. Makes a total sense. Down to half HP already. Hooper and Bones gonna get used though. And Hades are looking for this fight. But Crustle finds the forming Nightmoop, but the shield instantly stolen. God, we're down to Crustle. They just hate this crap Pokemon. And they're gonna try to take it down, but he buys so much time. Still alive. Finally taken down. What can Sylvian do on this backline right here? Finds the Hyper Mason Tillion, but no, it doesn't quite connect. And now gets ran down by Leafion as the Razor Leaf picks up this KO. Yeah, I still can't believe that uh, the Zero KO game happened today. 270 to 80 points. Nemesis looking very strong in this winner bracket final first match. Surf Jack Button onto Hooper. They just want to take on the support. And they do so. I mean, this was the last time you can use the Jack Button. It will be up for Ray again. So I guess that's fine for a quick KO. Why not? Should be totally uh, fine, I guess. I mean, it's just for support, but... It has a 70 second cooldown, right? No, wait, how much is the check button? Am I... I think so, 70? So we'll be up for Ray, perfectly again. 75, 70, 75? I'm out knowledge on this one. I don't read items cooldowns, okay? Yeah, they nerfed it a while ago, I know. <clears throat> Still don't understand why, but uh, it do be like that sometimes, you know, they make interesting uh, choices happen. We have another Regilecki on top. And now Blaster is getting locked up. We have Triven walking very far forward, but this fight looks so difficult already for Hades to take. Looks like they're gonna try and back off from this fight, potentially. As we already have Sylveon getting taken down. And this is, yeah, this is difficult. It's difficult for them to move up. And the Regilecki goes over to the side of Nemesis. They're going to secure it. Now we head already into the finest stretch of this game. Crusher already Unite moving, <coughs> but the entire sheet gets stolen pretty early on. Gardevoir Unite doesn't really do all too much. As we have Trainer diving on the right side, Gardevoir already down. And they have no answer for this Leafy on the Seafield, just dashing around all over the place. Ambion has used the hoop on bone to maybe get to safety. And actually does so successfully as the trees try and run on Teleon, but Teleon is able to kite away and make it out alive. All right, 280 points. It's looking bad for Hades. They're so underleveled as well. Level 12, level 11 across the board. Not a single level 13 at Rayquaza. That is a rare sight. Now we are hitting level 13, but they have no unit moves left and they have to somehow get to Rayquaza. But it's going to be a cross and a blast. So he's standing in front of this entrance and just winning by backcapping doesn't quite work if you have to score 220 points. That's a few too much backcapping. So yeah, there's going to be a wall here. There's going to be a Surf Hydro Pump on the top side. And this can't get in. How are they supposed to get into this pit? Gardevoir has Unite move again now, but so does Leafeon. Both with those very low cooldown Unite moves. They're giving Rep of a Trevenant, just in case this Unite move is going to be maybe back up in time for a second round. And yes, it does so. And now they're going to start moving forward. They have to. But Blaster scouts them out, but serves to safety quite passively. They're letting the kind of walk into the Rayquaza pit now, but there's Leafeon jumping forward. There's the Razor Leaf going in. Godway Knight can't do anything. And manages to train our show right now as he picks up two KOs. Four are down. It's only down to Trevenant. Triple KO for the Leafeon, who just pops off in this game. And a trainer finally gets up doing down to the pain split. But Nemesis with an incredible first game. 
takes a 1-0 lead. Or definitely to be now with the Lucario. And a Mamoswine coming out for Hades with Sylveon, Hoopa, and Blastoise. And for the right side again, Trainer. Second time on the Leafeon with Slowbro. We have Inteleon, we have Blissey, and a Trevenant. Let's see how much the Mamoswine can do. Going down towards Bot Path with a double defender Bot Path. Mamoswine and Blastoise. I mean, that's a lot of stunts in the early game. So Slowbro has to be careful. Same for Inteleon. They're going to go very aggressive, right? Skybish in. Into the water gun, and we can't see it right now because we have to see Trainer getting level 4. As the fight is happening on bot path, they're brawling it out and tearing down to half HP, slow down to half HP. But we have an early gank of the Leafeon, and Lucario is already gonna fall. First KO going over to the side of Nemesis. So Leafeon's probably gonna start strong again. This time we have Hades trying to mirror the Leafeon with a Sylveon jungle. Again, this is something we see uh, like in Europe as well the entire day we saw, right? Of Yala. Bingo, just getting Nevi into the center area, get a top above, but we see that pretty much any, say, every single region. Because you just need Xatu and that for level 4. And you just go top path and be annoying. And yeah, these two defenders, you can see they're very aggressive. They want these KOs. They want to be uh, starting off the game strong. And they get a KO! They do get one onto Slowbro. Okay, I didn't expect this one. But they actually do get one. As Leshy dives in now on the Lucario. But can't quite find the KO. Hyper voice onto Blissey. Power Punch comes through. But not quite enough damage. That's a little curry might fall. But no, instead of Trainer's gonna go down. Nicely played by Hades. As they somehow played the Leafeon. And are able to win this fight. Now Power Punch coming through onto Blissey. Nice Meteor Mesh angle. Rex super low HP, but it's gonna make it out in time. Now we have Relentless back. Have a Cursed Trevent in this game. Which uh, should be quite strong. I mean, Hades in late game doesn't have a lot of damage. So this Trevenant could just be absolutely immortal if we head into the later stage of this game. So far, 46 to 13 points. Hades now with better early game. Watergun Steel is going to come through. But he just gets stunned, stunned, stunned. Fan is trying to get the last of it, at least, and he does. But he's going to fall after getting somewhere a bit time. So they go back to slow, bro. See Jack to safety. Super early on to make sure that he doesn't get caught. Now we have the dash forward of Leafeon. Can they maybe turn around onto Sylveon? And so far, the oh, Leafeon, nice ice thing there. They're trying to go for Trainer. He's the eject button back to safety. But Sylveon's on 1 HP. Rex is walking forward. He wants to slap someone. Who is he going to go for? They're going to go for the Mammoth Swine. But out's another eject button for us. So many eject buttons gone. Now on this bottom path. And uh, yeah. Looking quite, quite solid right now. And Sleafium's gonna fall. This Warthog member Swine Lane is uh, bringing the heat. Apparently, 10 points for Lucario. Level 8 is Chief now, 2 level lead over Trevenant. What does Spot Rapid Spin? Dropping super low on HP. One basic attack would have done it onto the Blastoise. As we head into the Ataria and, and Ataria 5, I'm saying now. I can't even talk anymore. It's been a too long casting, guys. Ready now on bot path being attacked. And it goes. Oh, why do we not see the fight on bot? <laughs> There's a 4v4 Reggie fight happening. And we're looking at Shrivel and stacking. I can't. I cannot. The Telekinesis is on onto Sylveon. Sylveon is gonna fall. Yes, Heat Fang gets a double KO. You know, it's Intellion. It's on the board. Level 9. I'm gonna try to dive onto this goal. Blastoise can't defend this, gets taken on with every lace. As Lucario has the Ampuva up close combat, doesn't quite connect though. As he's gonna look for Slowbro now, who gets ice fanged and probably he's gonna fall, right? Power punch. Oh, he has focus band. He's still staying alive, but now finally taken down, but they still trade one for one. And Super falls to the hands of Inteleon. Yeah, I don't know how like how you can look to want someone stacking when there's a fight happening on Enregi. That is uh that is a vile. Absolutely vile. So now Trevin was able to recover on top. Of course, he was still on, uh, like alone while his team won the Reggie. So always a good sign for the Trevenant. As they're going to find a nice home here onto Lucario. He's going to use Unite move, almost taking down Leafeon with him. But enough damage. Nice snipe shot coming in. And we know Yeet fan. He's a sniper. He's known for his Decidueye gameplay. And now just rocking the Inteleon. The new gen sniper. In Pokemon Unite, Relentless, losing its passive, but just trying to zone them away from the Regieleki. 
Should get to safety quite easily right here. As Blast, we don't have enough damage. As I say, a persistence has to be used. Trevenant and missing the Horn Leech, trying to go in. It's gonna reset it. I want to pick out, but he's gonna for sure go down, right? Oh, he's so tanky. But finally goes down as Lucario also goes down, but Yeet fan, no train, I mean, is already on the left side again, diving the enemy team with his leaf. on finds himself a double KO. Intilion gets the next one, which Lecky goes in, and it's gonna be 40 points for anyone who wants to take it. They can't make a better over Cap Hatton, sadly, because all of them have enough uh, too many coins. But they're still gonna be happy with those 40 going in. Still three levels behind. But uh yeah, Tech is getting staked here. He's looking for the next one. He gets the razor leaf in. Dashes across the wall. This Lithium bit is so hard to catch. And she's just dashing around left and right. Super, super annoying to be up against. Blissey is gonna fall. But uh, it's not gonna really matter too much. He's buying a lot of time. For well, maybe his team to just go for the what objective. Dodging, trying to dodge away from the Hyper Voice. And now we have Nemesis going for this Reggie Rock. But there's a Hooper Bond on the ground. Fight's gonna break out. 4v5 advantage. Or 4v actually 4v5v3 advantage. Slowbury Knight will not do anything. He's gonna get taken down. Now Hades can look for a goal on this, a push on this goal, but Leafion is around, fights a huge Unite! What is this combo? They delete four members of Hades, that should just be an ace. What a setup. The Foreman Horn Leech into the Trevenant and Leafion Unite. Wow, that was what a combo by Nemesis. They've been ready for this push and they get rewarded with a nice overcap of 40, 22 and 31 points. Hi, hi, hi. Mama actually ended up living, yeah? He was making it to the, the hyperspace port in the end. So, not too bad. 9 to 138 points now. 183. Double the points for Nemesis over Hades. Oh, punch coming through, looking for the close combat. The Ice Fang actually pushes him out of it. A bit of miscommunication there. Doesn't matter though, Blissey is going to fall regardless, as Trevon is going to go forward, finds the Honey John to Sylveon. Sylveon has Unite. Could use it one more time, is going to do so. Defend also says United fight's gonna break out. Defend Unite onto Mammoswine though, gets Ice Fang. The Mammoswine takes Hyperspeed Portal. Lifts on 1 HP as Trent's gonna run forward, but the Cypher Shot hits onto Blast Toys. Where's like 1 HP? The Cypher Shot's gonna miss, but doesn't matter what still gets secured by the side of Nemesis by Train on this Leafion. And yeah, maybe this Leafion should be banned at some point. He is just cleaning up on this Evolution. Dashing forward, dashing forward, looking for the next one to Hooper, who has Phantom Force back to safety. My Phantom Force was so far away. They're gonna try to chase on Hooper, but the hyperspace portal will get Hooper to safety. But he's gonna retake it actually. Why? He's still just dancing around. I guess he still wants to be an annoying Hooper player. 12 more seconds for the next bottom Reggie. Ah, he's just being annoying. He gets Telkinesis though. I mean, <laughs> he's chasing around the support. Yeah, leave him to 14. Level 14. That is a massive level advantage. But the final team fight can be still quite difficult for Leafin to play, so... Game is far from over. Definitely. But Hades, they have... Uh, their damage is quite awkward. And Blasters Unite can get countered by Slowbro, so... The only chance to win is a probably a very good Blasters Unite. And yeah, against Slowbro. But they might catch Blissey, but instead they actually catch Lucario. Close comment's gonna go and power punch forward. He's looking for the KO to Blissey. Finds the Unite move, but it's not gonna be enough to get the KO done. As the fight's gonna break out. Oh, there's the Slowbro Unite onto the Blasters Unite to counter it. But no one's really hit by it anyways. This fight is looking quite good for Hades, but now they lose two members. And Tellion gonna go forward. Turban barely living on the bottom side, trying to run away, trying to buy time off Hooper. Only promise that Blasters United is still up now. He's gonna use it on top, but not really for anything. As fans gonna try to chase him down. Snipe shot. He gets it. Predicts this movement. And takes down the Blast Toys. But wait, there's 84 points going in. 84 points go in. Then suddenly Hades is only 10 points away from winning this game. And Rekwaz is at full HP. Oh, the telekinesis on the hyperspace portal. Get the out of it. But no follow-up. It's only 10 points. Hooper's gonna go top. Hooper can maybe score those 18. But Trevin is there. Trevin will be able to stop it for now. Does Nemesis know that it's this close on points? They have to, right? It's just 10 points. And Hooper's gonna score now. They leave Hooper to score. Nemesis. They have to go for a push now to the top goal. To try and score points right here. Now they think they're losing. 
They're gonna start going, they have to just score some points onto the school, but yeah, just score some points, I guess. They're going in blister assistance onto the Leafeon. They try to dive in. They have 18 seconds left. Memos Friend's currently defending bot path, but he has, but they lose three members. It's out onto Blasters. Memos Friend jumping for now. But he's stuck in the 25. Can he buy some more 10 seconds of time? He cannot, right? Surely he can't buy 10 seconds. So there's some points going in. That's gonna be the end. Nemesis goes for the push, breaks the goal, and wins this 2-0 and moves to the grand final.